Back then, we were just at the beginning of the molecular era, so we were able to take these tumors and begin to dissect them at a molecular level, compare it to what was seen in the normal cells that were right adjacent to it, and find out what the differences were. And that's how we really did find the HER2 alteration in breast cancer. That period of time, it was just myself and a technician half-time working in the lab. It was fun, and it was fun learning the techniques and applying the techniques, and it was fun seeing this new information as it was sort of developing. When we first saw the results, it was pretty exhilarating to see that what we had thought about in theory, what we were able to show in models, really happened in patients. And more than three million women have been treated with this drug worldwide, and even more effective drugs have been developed against HER2 positive breast cancer. It's been an incredible ride, and to see the therapies get more and more effective, cure rates get higher and higher, it's just been a gratifying thing. Now we want to see if we can take those lessons and apply it to a number of other cancers. And I believe not only will we be able to do that, but I think other labs and other groups around the country and around the world will be able to do it.